<laughs> All right, good evening, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Team Lux Platinum uh, training. This training takes place every Monday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, sometimes we have a specific topic that we're going to train on, and these topics come from various places. Some of them are topics that you guys have um, brought to my attention that you feel you need training on. Um, sometimes it might be some new information that I've learned that I want to share, or maybe I've noticed you know, some struggles after doing a one-on-one -on -one with one of you, a struggle that one of you are um, coming across. And I'm like, oh, there's probably other people having the same struggle. Let me do a training on it. And then sometimes it's just a Q&A where you get to ask any question you want and we go through it. So tonight is that night. Tonight is Q&A. This night is for you guys to ask any single question um, that you have, whether it be on the, the marketing side of the business, the travel side of the business, any obstacles or struggles that you've come across. Um, I want you to either unmute yourself, and let me make sure I have it set. Every single okay. Area, you can light on oh, okay. I want you to unmute yourself or you can use the chat feature to uh, write your question down in the chat. I already see people in the chat saying, hey, hi, everyone. Love it, love it, love it. So who wants to go first? Who has a question, a challenge, an obstacle, um, anything, 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 anything? If you come across something that you think will be helpful to someone, you can share uh, that as well. Yeah. Hello, it's Narabia. Hi, is it Narabia? Narabia, hi, Narabia, how are you? Narabia, how are you? Tell, tell us a little bit about you, where are you from, and how long have you been in the business? Well, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Um, I've been in the business from, I believe, October. However, um, I have not been working in business okay. um, as I initially hoped. Um, now, I'm sorry, I'm trying to fix my phone so I can see. I'm just hoping. About it's it's okay. Yeah, so um, I haven't been working in business um, the way I should have been. Um, however, the place in my, the area of focus that I was working in, working on was um, group travel. Okay. I, um, I did Disney. I did the, cert, uh, the certification. I mean, I did the certificate. Excuse me. Um, now, my issue, I believe, besides the fact that life got a hold of me, snatched me up for a second, right? I'm, I'm now coming out of the clouds. Okay. Um, I'm having, I'm, I think I'm getting stuck with the, um, how can you say it? With presenting myself to okay. people. Because Fortunately, my circle, which I also want to step out of because I believe that this is my issue. My circle um, is already entrepreneurs. They're already set. They're not looking for no new business. They don't want any new business. They are fine the way that they are. However, they're travelers. So I was thinking, you know, um, coming into the business around October, that this would be a benefit for me. Absolutely not. <laughs> you know, once I've been around you guys and you guys told me, number one, you shouldn't even be um, working with your family and friends like that. Those not those are not your, your number one clientele. So the things that I have learned from you guys, I know that if I can just get it together and actually follow what you guys are saying, I don't think that I would have an issue. Mm -hmm. I see that my issue is more personal. Okay, you're getting in your own way. <laughs> Right, right. I'm getting my own way. Not so much of what you guys are are teaching because the things that I have been following, I see that is work that it works. Mm -hmm. You know? And, um I just like I said, I'm I'm believing I need to come out of my circle. And I have been so closed for so long that that is what I need help with. Coming out of my circle. So then I can I believe that I can utilize the things that y'all has that y'all have been Okay, so let me ask you this. Um, you said you've kind of exposed your circle to this. Were you exposing them to the travel side as, hey, I can book your travel, 
or were you trying to expose them to the business side to get them as a business partner? Oh, I did both. Okay. So what was your approach? Um, okay, I did it twice. Well, I, I tried it two different ways. Okay. My first approach, my way, epic failure. Okay. <laughs> when I tried it your way and I, um, and you know, I, I threw out the hint, um, Senior um, gave me like a hint to put on uh, Facebook, not to actually say, you know, what it is, just throw it out there. People responded to that. I believe it was something sort um, along the lines of, um, if you want to travel and do what you love and make money at the same time, you know, then hit me up. Some, you know, some, you know, it was like something, something along those lines. I did it. I, they was responding to me, just like you guys said. Um, I sent them the video. Just like you guys said, I watched it. I seen who who did it, and again, like I said, I got in my own way and didn't follow up after that. So that was a big up oh, on myself. So I'm actually like like I said, I've been here since October, but I want to like say I want to start fresh, brand new, start all over, and do it all over again. Because like I said, I know what what you guys are teaching or what you guys are showing, it works. I've seen it. I just hindered my own. Okay. So what you were doing when you posted that on Facebook, that's called marketing. Right. Right. Marketing is when you put something out there and you wait and see what happens. Right. It's okay to market, but you also want to prospect. Prospect is when you actually approach someone specifically about the business. So you want to do both. You want to market on Facebook, but you, to really build the business, if you have a desire to build, and not everybody does, but if that is your desire to make, you know, 3000 4000 whatever on a month, then you want to prospect. Now, have you seen the Just Ask Peak Interest script? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, just so, Ask Peak Interest no, peak interest. It sounds familiar, but I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen for a moment. Okay. Can you guys I want to go on mute. Screen? Okay, great. So this is the Just as Peak Interest. And let me get this out of the way. Oops. All right. And can you guys just comment and let me know if you can see that? Now I can't see where my comments are. Darn it. <laughs> Where's my chat? Okay, can you guys see? There it is. Okay, thank you, April. Thank you. Okay, so this is the Just Ask Peak Interest script. And this script, you can use you can use it in Messenger with people. You can uh, DM people on Instagram with it. You can go through all of the contacts in your cell phone and send them this mess and use this script. You can use it in LinkedIn. You can use it in, I mean, you can use this through email. It doesn't matter. But this is how we prospect. This is when we specifically go to someone to find out if they're looking for an opportunity. So. As a planet marketing rep, your sole job is to find out if people are open to looking at an opportunity to make money. They're either going to tell you yes or they're going to tell you no. Now, with 79% of Americans looking check to check, I would say eight times out of 10, people are going to say yes, they're open to looking. And so the script is Hi, Sonia. How are you? I know we don't really know each other, but I just wanted to reach out to see if you were at all open to what it is I'm doing to earn some extra money and create residual income without it interfering with what you're currently doing. If you're open to it, I'd be happy to share a little more information. If not, no worries. It's totally cool to still be connected with you on here. So we all have people that we're friends with on Facebook that we're not really, we don't know them, know them, but we're friends with them. Now, if it's someone you know, if Sonia is your cousin, of course you're not gonna say, I know we don't really know each other. Instead, you would say, hey cuz, how are you? I just wanted to reach out to see if you were at all open to blah, 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 okay? So there's that script. Now, if the person says they're interested, you're just gonna say, great, I have an appointment I have to get ready for right now, but if I send you a quick video, how soon can you watch it? 
Sonia's gonna say, hey, I can watch it right now, right? And so you're gonna put a little reminder on your calendar, let me follow up with Sonia in an hour or you know, 30 minutes. And then you're going to go to your Planet Marketing mobile app and you're gonna text Sonia the preview ITA video and the preview rep video. And you're gonna you know, give her a little message and say, here are two short videos, or Sonia, I just texted you two short videos. After watching them, let me know if it's something you'd be interested in learning more about. Sonia's gonna watch the videos. You're gonna get a, an alert on your mobile app that tells you that she's watched the videos. And then you're gonna follow up with her and you're gonna say, um, after having watched the videos, is this something you'd be interested in learning more about? If Sonia says yes, you're gonna say, great, when are you available for a call so we can discuss it further and you can decide if it's a good fit for you or not, right? And then you're gonna schedule that three-way call with your senior business partner, right? And then once the appointment is set, you're gonna send Sonia one more video, the big picture video. This video goes into more detail. So you're gonna send her a message, Sonia, I'm gonna text you another video that gives you a little more detail. Uh, watch it, write down any questions you have, and I'll be sure to get your questions answered on our call. Look forward to speaking with you, and you're done. Now, if from the beginning, Sonia says, no, I'm not interested, I got, you know, I'm in school, I'm working, I got too much going on right now, um, you know, now's not a good time, then you're just gonna say, hey, no problem, if you know of anyone looking to travel more and make some extra income, if I show them step-by-step -step how to do it, please let me know. Also, if you have any upcoming trips that you're planning, give me the opportunity to win your travel business. This is prospecting. Just putting something up on Facebook, hoping someone responds or private messages you is called marketing. Do both, don't just do one. If you only market, you're not gonna grow your business unless you're an influencer. And if you're not an influencer, you need to also prospect. So do both. All right, so does that answer your question, Narabia? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. And for the record, I have never, I don't think that I've seen, I've heard of the peak interest, but I cannot remember actually seeing that. Um, are you, I was about to ask, are you in our Team Lux Platinum group? Yes. Okay, so if you go in there under announcements, you should see it. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. This. Let me do this. So if you go here, we're in my Team Lux Platinum. Click on announcements, because I believe, let me go here. I pinned it to the top. Oh, let me unpin this, because this is not a follow-up. Uh, Is it not pinned? Where did I put it? Oh, no, you know where it's at? Click on units. And under units, go to training videos and tips. This recording and all the videos we do are saved in unit number two. And if you go to the bottom, I believe it was probably the last thing I posted. And if it's not, we're going to find out. But guys, guys, this unit section literally has all the training and everything that you need. Um, to, and I can't find it. All right. So let's find it in discussions. And if anybody can um, go to this and if they see it, ping it so that it goes back to the top, I will mark it as an announcement. So that it'll always be at the top.
Tisha, what are you looking for? Um, the updated Just Ask Peak Interest. Here it is. I found it. Mark as announcement. So, Narabia, look for this. Revise Just Ask Peak Interest. And uh, this is that script. So then you can copy and paste it in your notes section of your phone so you'll have it. All right, right. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's March 17th. Right. Sorry. Any other questions? Who's next? Hi, Tanisha. I have a question. It's Janine. Hi, Janine. Janine, uh, introduce yourself, where you're from, and how long have you been in the business? My name is Janine Shaw. I'm from Long Island, New York, and I've been in the business for a little over a year. Awesome. 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 What's your yeah. question? Okay. My question is, uh, on Super Sunday, you know, they talked about us doing PBRs, travel parties, and with the PBR, Mm -hmm. I'm just a little unclear about how this is supposed to go because then in the same breath or in the second breath, they tell us they don't want us talking too much about the business, you know, wait for the third party validation with the three-way call. So I'm a little confused as to what exactly is supposed to go on at a PBR. Like if I say, you know, get a couple of people, we meet at a hotel lobby or Panera or something like that. What exactly is supposed to be going on? at the PBR. Great question. Great question. So a PBR, well, let me, let me back up. You hear us talk a lot about travel parties. Understand there's two types of travel parties. You could be doing a travel party for your IntelliTravel business where you are showcasing your uh, services as a travel agent. That's one thing. Okay, put that in the box over there. But then you can also have a travel party as a planet marketing rep where you are looking for business partners. You're exposing people to the business opportunity. It is also called a private business reception. You can call it one or the other. It really depends on your audience. Um, and if any of you, how many of you have watched the um, colors training video with JP Watkins? Who has watched? The colors I want you to do in your comments. Debbie said me, right? Anybody else? Nobody. Joy, okay. She said, she said she's watched it. Renee, Mildred, thank you. Kayla, all right. So if you have not watched the colors training video um, in your Planet Marketing Library, watch that video. If your friends are a blue, your network of people are a blue. Blues are, they're the people who love to have fun. If there's a party, they want to be there, right? Blues just, wherever there's fun, they want to go to it. If you're doing a, if you want to expose the business to a group of blues in your home, call it a travel party. <laughs> as soon as they hear the word party, they're going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going, I'm going, right? Now, if the people you're going to expose the business to are reds, right? Reds are your CEO type, like um, Narabia was, now I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, Narabia. It's okay, it's Narabia. Narabia. I gotta think of Narabia and then I'll remember it. I got it. All right. If Like Narabia was saying, her network of people are entrepreneurs. So if she was to invite them to a travel party, that ain't gonna get them. But if she says, I'm having a private business reception at my home, they're gonna be like, huh. I'm gonna go check that out. So travel party, private business reception, same exact thing. The goal is to present the business to them. So now you have the people either in your living room or at a Starbucks, maybe you're meeting in a hotel lobby. What you want to do is then show them the presentation. And now we got the big picture video. So you can literally just play, just hit play and let them watch the big picture video because it explains to them what it is, how it works, it tells them how much it costs. And then at the end, if you are, I would say if you're a gold builder and you feel like, you know, I've built a team of nine people, I already know what questions they're gonna ask, I've been in the business for a year, whatever, I already know, then you can just answer their questions, right? Or you can have your senior business partner on standby to then introduce them 
either by phone if they're not there in person to answer their questions, right? That's the third party validation. Now, the third party validate, validation is really just to confirm that whatever you expose them to is 100% fact. If after they've watched that video, you've answered their questions and they're like, hey, I'm ready to get started. This is great. I've been looking for something. This is perfect. I love the travel. I'm, matter of fact, I'm getting ready to plan a family reunion. You don't need to do a three-way call. Sign them up immediately before they change their mind, right? And then the third val third party validation can happen on the welcome call, right? So then you're just going to say, oh, I got to introduce you. You know, you get them locked in the system. I got to introduce you to my new business partner. Hold on one second. Um, I want to introduce yeah. you to my new business partner okay, okay. and then you just introduce them and then that's their third party validation. Does that okay. Make sense? Yes. Okay. All I'm right. clear now. Thank you. You're welcome. Who else has a question? That was a good one. How many of you are afraid to do a travel party? All right, so Kayla said me. Anybody else? Thank you, Kayla, for being open and honest. Anytime. <laughs> I don't know who that is on the Samsung, but they said me. Michelle said me. Jennifer said me. <laughs> Thelma said not me. <laughs> Debbie said, I haven't done one yet. Not really afraid. All right, Debbie, I want to know what's stopping you. Okay, so a lot of you are afraid to do a travel party. And let me tell you, that is the one way to build your business quickly is by doing travel parties. Uh, Louise said I had one and no one showed, so I was discouraged. All right, thanks, Louise. So I remember when I got started in this business and they kept talking about travel parties and I was like, I'm not afraid to do it, but I don't know what it is. Like, how can I do something that I've never attended or see? Like, I didn't understand. Just like Janine was like, what, what do you do? What do, I don't, I didn't know. Cause I'd never been to one. I've never seen one. There was no training video on how to do it. So I didn't know. And so, um, I didn't do it for years. Did not do it. But I did keep going to the weekly meetings. So I, and then when I asked someone, I said, okay, what exactly happens at a travel party? They're like, you just show them the presentation just like they do at the weekly meetings. It, the only difference is it's in your home or their home or, you know, a Starbucks or a lobby. It's, it's the same exact thing, except it's not a corporate sponsored event. It's just on a smaller scale in someone's personal space or, you know, a public space. And I was like, Oh, okay. Well, if you haven't done the presentation or practiced the presentation, there's no worries. Eventually, you want to start practicing the presentation. But because we now have the big picture video, right, you can just have your group of people there. And so it would start something like this. And I do a travel party. I designate Tuesday nights at my house. Um, for travel party night so that anybody in the Space Coast Florida area, if they meet someone and they want, want to invite them, they can bring them to my house on a Tuesday night at six o'clock. So I will have the people in my living room and I say, hi everyone, you know, thank you all for coming. Um, I may ask them a little bit about them, you know, state your name and, and, and where you're from. And um, I might even do an icebreaker. I did an icebreaker last night. Um, in Jacksonville at a travel party. And I said, give me your name, your background, and one bucket list destination, right? And I just went around the room just so that the people there would know each other, right? And have an understanding. And then I told my story, you know, who I was and how I got started in the business and why I got started in the business. And then I got started with the presentation and I went through the planet marketing presentation. Now, if you are not, um, ready to present then all if i wasn't ready to present say i hadn't practiced the presentation yet then i would just press the video and i would let them know um tonight i'm going to share with you information about this amazing opportunity we're going to talk about two different opportunities and to get started i'm going to show you guys a quick 10 minute video 
and then just hit play. They're going to see all the information. And then at the end, you're going to um, find out if they're a number three, a number two, or a number one. And what questions do they have? Right? If you are brand new and you don't know how to overcome objections, you want to schedule to have your senior business partner on standby where you can have them either on speakerphone or via Zoom to answer the questions for your guests. And then so after you watch the videos, you can say, okay, guys, I want to introduce you to my senior business partner. This was the person that invited me to this business. I want to introduce you to Kimette Turner. She is a two-star director in the company. Um, she used to work this business. She started part-time. And in less than two years, she was able to go full-time. She loves to have fun. She loves to help people. And she knows 100% of the facts about this opportunity. And she's helping me with my business. So any questions that you guys have, you can ask Camet, right? And then Camet's going to come on the screen, right? If, if you're having your laptop hooked to your TV and you're doing this in the living room, or you have Camet on speakerphone if you're sitting in a Starbucks. And you know you can either have her on speakerphone or hand the phone over to your guest or that sort of thing. And then she's going to close them. She's going to answer any questions that they have, and they're either going to tell her yes, they're ready to get started, no, they're not, or uh, give a date of when they're ready to get started. So that that's all it is. That's all it is. It's just the actual business presentation, but in a personal, smaller setting. Okay, so don't be afraid. I encourage all of you before Sunday to schedule a travel party. Or let me say this, before the end of the month, I want everyone that's on the line to schedule a travel party. Even if you just have your, you know, your mom and your sister and your neighbor. Say, come on guys, we're having a travel party. And you don't have to have a whole bunch of food or anything some bottled water and some chips because you don't want it to be about the food, you want it to be about the presentation. Now, here's the other thing. The travel party or even the meeting shouldn't really be the first exposure that they have. You wanna show them something, right? So maybe you expose them to the preview ITA and the preview rep video first to expose them to the business. And then you let them know that um, you want to introduce them. You're having a travel party at your home. Um, one of the top income earners um, is going to be there to answer questions. And you want to introduce them to them, right? So you want to expose them to something so that they know what they're coming for. Like, OK, this is an opportunity. And maybe you pique their interest, right? Maybe you say to them, Hey, Carol, you know, I heard you complaining, you know, that you needed some money. You, you know, you were, you were thinking about getting a second job. If I could show you how to earn some extra income working part time from home, is that something you'd be willing to take a look at? Carol's going to say, well, yeah, you know, because I don't want to get another job. If you got something better than getting a job, I'm all ears. And you say, listen, why don't you come by my house Tuesday night at six? Um, I'm gonna be sharing some information. This is an amazing, amazing opportunity. It may or may not be for you. I don't know, but why don't you come and take a look at it and then you can decide for yourself, right? Because you made it about Carol and something that she's interested in, it's to help her, then she'll come and take a look at it, right? Because she'll see the value in it. So that is a travel party. Does that sound so scary now, guys, that I explained it? <laughs> Naravia, does it sound scary now? No, it doesn't sound scary. I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm a little, um, I'm still a little confused. Just, just a little because I'm like, I don't know. I think maybe I'm, I think I'm overthinking it. You are, exactly. I was just about to say, you are way overthinking it. Get them in a room, play the big picture video and get their questions answered. Either if you feel comfortable answering questions, answer them. If not, have it pre-scheduled with your senior business partner to close it out and answer the questions for them. All right. You're on mute, Narabia. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, okay, so if I was if I was already putting together um 
I just, I, have, I was starting a movement. It's called a boss up movement. Mm-hmm. It's um, it's for young entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. right? And should I do this separate from that, or should I try to bring it together and like do it at the same? Time? So here's what I I want you to do. I want you to get on my calendar for one on one coaching. Okay. And tell me so we can have a, a one-on-one conversation exactly about what you're trying to do with that, and then I can show you the best way to incorporate this with that. Okay. 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 We'll do. All, All right. right. So I'm gonna go to the chat. I want to see if anybody. So Louise said she had one, and no one showed up, so she was discouraged. So have I. Most Tuesdays, and you can ask Mildred and Debbie who come to my home. Most Tuesdays, I do not have anyone here. Either there are people who said they were going to come and they didn't come, or either, to be honest, I just didn't invite anybody, (laughs) right? Um, It happens, but you keep doing it. And normally when someone doesn't show up to a travel party or a PBR, we turn it into a training. Training is my most favorite thing to do. So we turn it into a training opportunity um, if none of the guests show up. But inviting guys is a skill set that you have to learn most people don't come into the business knowing how to invite when we used to um do webinars to launch people i mean we still do right but a lot of times when we do webinars in the beginning to launch people and we say invite your family and friends onto this webinar friday at eight o'clock so they can hear about your new business and I would have the business partner and their spouse. Nobody else would show up because how did the business partner invite? They posted something on Facebook and thought all these people were just going to jump on board. They didn't invite people. They just posted. And, you know, or they did a Facebook invite, which everybody gets and everybody ignores. So that was not an invitation. So learning how to invite is a skill set. And so if you're having people come, um, if you're inviting people to your travel party and they're not showing up, then you have to work on your invitation. But you don't stop inviting. You don't stop doing travel parties because you get good at what you keep doing over and over and over again. So look at what you said, how was your invitation, and then say, well, how can I do better with that invitation? I had no clue how to invite. You know what I started doing? Watching YouTube videos. I would follow people on Facebook and network marketing and I would do a search for how to invite to learn how to invite. And I remember watching a video with Matt Morris and I was like, oh, okay, I get it. You know, I understand a little better. And then being on the team calls and going to the weekly meetings guess what? Sometimes they talk about inviting. And Mr. Moore, on more than one occasion, has done a training on a Tuesday night team call about inviting. So if you're not plugged in to the calls, if you're not plugged in to the meetings, if you're not going to convention, if you're not going to the events, you guys are missing all the training to teach you how to do these things, right? Um, One of the things about inviting is you have to show value in your invitation. So if I wanted to invite Janine to my travel party, I'm not going to say, hey, Janine, I'm having a travel party on Tuesday night at six o'clock. It's about this amazing business opportunity, and I want you to come and hear about it. Janine is probably not going to show up. Janine doesn't want to leave her house on Tuesday night at six. She's worked all day. She got to come home. She got to cook for the kids. She got to do the homework, get them ready for bed. Janine does not want to come out at Tuesday at six o'clock after working. So that was a bad invitation. Now, how do I show, there was no value in that invitation. So how would I show value in that invitation? Janine, I don't know what you're doing Tuesday at six o'clock, but I can't let you miss this. And she's going to say, miss what? Right? I showed value because I said, I can't let you miss this. So she's going to automatically want to know what's up. Right? And then you could say, I have one of the top leaders in my company that is going to share some information on how you can make six figures working part-time from home. I cannot let you miss this. Now we got Janine's attention. 
she's gonna be like, wait, wait, make how much? Wait, how much how much can you make? The top income earner? Okay, I'm there, right? Or if I know Janine needs income, Janine has a daughter that's about to go to college, she's stressing out, how am I gonna pay for this? Janine, if I could show you a way to make some extra money working part-time from home to help you pay for college, is that something you'd be willing to take a look at? Janine's gonna say, absolutely. Say, listen, I need you at my house Tuesday at six o'clock. I just need 60 minutes of your time. I'm gonna share some information with you. If it makes sense to you, great. If not, maybe you know someone that it would make sense for. Janine's gonna show up now because she has a problem in her life, a big financial problem, and you are offering her a solution to that problem. So she'll see the value of taking 60 minutes after work to come to your home to get the information. So you gotta show value. So Louise, you don't want to stop inviting people. You don't wanna stop doing the travel parties. You wanna practice more. Matter of fact, you wanna do even more of them so that you can get better at your invitation and showing value in the invitation. Does that make sense, Louise? Yes, it does. Um, it makes very much sense. And you make it sound, um, like I wrote in my comment, I know I overthink. Um, well, number one, I'm a perfectionist, so I felt like I had to perfect something when I really don't. And you're right, I need to, I'm my own worst enemy, and I'll, I'll be the first to admit that, and I need to get out of my own way and get out of my head and just do it and not be worried about how I look, how I sound, and I need to just do it. Um, so I am having another one, as I wrote in the comments, April 6th. And so you're giving me some, yes, you're giving me some great um, pointers on how to go about making it happen so that even if people don't, come i still have an opportunity to learn exactly if you are the only person at your travel party that means no business partners show up no no guests show up i want you to practice the presentation do you guys know how to access the presentation yes i do all right so for those of you that don't know how to access the presentation Bear with me one moment. This takes a minute. Okay, that's just showing everything. Hold on. Okay, so if you go to your virtual office dashboard and click on virtual office information center and then presentations. And here you have the presentation. And they have a version for PC, if you have a Mac, and Se Habla Espanol, we have it there too. Okay, so you guys should be practicing the presentation. If you, here's what I'll tell you, the people in front of the room make the most money. I want y'all to write that down. The people in front of the room make the most money. So if, and not everybody does, I'm speaking to the people who have a desire to be a top income earner, or if you have a desire to make all the money that you can get because you realize you can make unlimited income in this industry, if you have that desire, you should be practicing the presentation. So practice it by yourself. You know, you can take a slide, take the best way to do it. This is the way my husband um, learned the presentation. He took an index card and slide by slide, because we actually had a meeting with Mr. Bradley, and that's what he said. And he said, hit two or three comments on that slide and move to the next one. Two or three points, move to the next one. So my husband had business cards, um, index cards, and for every, he numbered the slides, numbered his index cards, and he would write two or three things he's gonna say about it. And then he would just practice it and practice it and practice it until he didn't need the cards anymore. Actually, I threw his cards away because he got too dependent on it. And he got really, really mad at me. But, you know, I had to kick him out of the nest. <laughs> I'm like, you're sounding like a robot. But this is why it's so important for you guys to go to the weekly meetings. And if you do not have a weekly meeting, 
um, in your area that's with the and let me say this if your weekly meeting is within two hours two and a half hour drive you need to drive your butt there just because it's not down the street is no excuse you can make excuses or you can make money but you can't do both so if you're if there's a meeting happening if there's a meeting happening within two and a half hours of your home you need to drive to that meeting period okay can't make excuses we make adjustments if there's no meeting in a reasonable driving distance from your area in your area then you should be on the weekly webinar that happens monday tuesday wednesday thursday there is a corporate web webinar four days a week and you should be on it all four days so that you can listen and take notes as to what are they saying for each slide and then practicing it everything you guys need to be successful in this business is there honestly the tools and the resources are overwhelming there's so many of them but if you do nothing you can't expect for all of a sudden you know you're going to be great at this you have to fail your way forward and i promise you the first time you do it you are going to screw it up royally but that'll be the worst time because the second time you do it you're going to learn from your mistakes the first time and so the second time you do it is going to be a little bit better than the first time think about your job guys when you first day one at your job you had no clue matter of fact they had you sitting at a desk all day doing nothing <laughs> remember that <laughs> your first day at work right and you had to watch people right and somebody taught you you had to shadow them for a while and then you learned and then you started doing it yourself and it took you forever to get your tasks done right but the more you kept doing it over and over and over again the better you got to the point where now you can teach people how to do your job you're so good at it but you only got good because you're there five days a week 40 hours a week that's why you're good at it so then why do you guys come into the business put minimal time in and then get frustrated right you can't do that and here's the kicker you do you put 40 hours in at your job just to live check to check and then you come in your business and don't want to put two hours in barely but you want this business to pay you four or five thousand dollars a month get serious about your business if you are serious about changing your family's financial if you're fighting for matter of fact let me ask this question and i want all of you there's 31 of you on the line right now this is real talk I want every single one of you that are on the line right now to answer my question in the comments. If you are serious about changing your family's financial future, I want you to post in the comments, I'm serious. And I don't want you to make an emotional decision because if this is just a hobby for you, this is just this little thing you're doing on the side, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but I want to know who's serious about changing their family's financial future. Okay, I found this on the web for who is serious about Chase's near family's financial future. Siri's answering the question for me. <laughs> All right, so I wanna see who's serious. And again, if you're not serious, please, 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 please do not respond. This, this is not a game for us. This, this is serious business here. I just wanna see. I'm gonna see, I'm actually gonna count how many people said I'm serious. I'm not calling anybody out if, if I don't see your name, but I'm just curious out of the 31 of you that are on tonight, I'm curious as to how many of you are really serious about changing your family's financial future. Okay, I got 25 of you. Okay, so six of you are either on the fence. Okay, 26 of you have said you're serious. 
So I'm speaking right now to those of you that actually responded and thank you so much for responding. This is real talk. I hope you guys know anything that I tell you is always straight up no chaser because this is not a game for me. Like I'm fighting for my family's financial future. So this is not a game. If you are 100% committed to changing your family's financial future, I want you to realize a couple of things. Number one, you should not work harder for your job than you're willing to work for your business. I'm gonna repeat that. You should not work harder for your job than you're willing to work in your business. How many of you have ever gone to work with a fever? Gone to work coughing, sneezing, body aching? Thank you, Joey. He's honest. April said, yep, me, right? But then why didn't you go to your weekly meeting last week? the place where top income earners are teaching you how to present, how to overcome objections, how to make the big money, but you didn't go to your weekly meeting, but you wanna make five, six figures over here. And you can't even drive two and a half hours for a one hour meeting, one hour, but you'll go to work for 40 hours a week to live check to check, but you won't take one hour to get to your weekly meeting, you're not serious. You're not, you're not, you're not serious. But that's what it's gonna take if you're serious about changing your, finance, your family's financial future. You have to get to your, look, doctors go to med school, lawyers go to court, network marketers go to meetings. So if you're not willing to get to your weekly meeting, I'm telling you now, you're not serious about changing your family's financial future because that's what it takes. How are you going to get good at presenting if you don't see someone presenting? You, you got to duplicate what they're doing. So someone's either going to say, ouch, or amen. <laughs> As my pastor would say, take your medicine. This is real talk. This is locker room right now. Real talk because that is what it's going to take for two years. So I'm going to tell this story. Some of you may know this. Some of you have heard it before. Um, is my bestie still on? Yep, she's still on. So Camet, I want you to back me on this. But when Camet and I really got serious, like we saw this opportunity. I mean, I was all in from the beginning. It took her a little time. But we said, you know what? We both hated our job. We worked for the same company. And we knew we had already looked at our, our money. Matter of fact, we had a conversation. We were at work talking about this, chatting on, online. And um, we said, you know, we're going to retire from this job. We know that this is the best opportunity on the planet. We hate our job. And we looked at our, we both said we were going to look at our finances and figure out how much money we need to make to leave our job. And I had, a, I had to have a conversation with my husband about that because at the time he was, you know, overseeing the bills or whatever. And she and I looked at the compensation plan and we said, mm, two-star. If we can get the two-star director, we can leave our jobs because that's what we wanted to do. That's not what everybody, some of you love your job, you get paid well for it. That's fine. I'm, telling, I'm sharing my story, okay? We knew we had to get to two-star director. And then we set a goal of when we were going to walk away from our job, a goal of when we were gonna hit two-star director. And for two years, we ran like our hair was on fire. I worked 6 a.m. to 2.30 at my job. Literally by 2.31, I'm in the parking lot on a three-way call, all the way home, Walk in the house, I'm still on the phone. I might cook dinner. If not, hubby was doing it. I'm on the phone. By the time I got off the phone for the evening, my son was asleep and my husband was asleep. For two years, that is what my life looked like. For two years. Kamet, can you talk about that? What that two years looked like when we made a decision to get serious about the business? 
Absolutely. G great evening, everybody. So um, my two year um, was was pretty similar to Tanisha's. Um, what she failed to to uh, to mention was that it was a season of sacrifice. Right? We did whatever it took. No excuses. Period. It wasn't a, it wasn't up for debate. There were days where we, we both would drive home crying because we were so tired and exhausted, right? Forgot to eat, um, had to schedule in between, like literally doing doing a call, the introduction, and I got you on mute so I could chomp down some food, right? But we knew that it wasn't going to be forever. It was just for a time, right? Because we were so hungry and knew that if we put the work in, that um, we'd be able to get exactly what it is that we desired. But like she said, we both worked the same shift, right? Six o'clock in the morning at work, which meant that I got up at 4.30 because I live a little further out, worked until three, three or one, we was on 95. And guess what, you guys, we live in Central Florida. What does that mean to you all? It means that we are three hours from everything. Three hours to Miami, three hours to Jacksonville, three hours to Tampa. But by 301, we were on 95. Let's meet up, jump in the car. We drove the three hours to go to the meeting, right? Because they say never miss a, a opportunity that you are qualified to attend. Sat at the meeting, which was an hour, then the training, hour plus, 1030, back on the road to go home because we got to go to work the next morning. So we would get home. One, 130, two o'clock. And I already told you we get up at 430, right? Um, but that's something that we did and was it worth it? Absolutely. Were we, was it hard? Absolutely. Would we do it again? Absolutely. Back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And she's right. There were times we didn't eat because <laughs> I mean, when you're doing back to back calls, how, how do you eat? So sometimes you guys feel so bad. You ever schedule a three-way call with your senior business partner and then your prospect flakes on you and then you got to let your senior business partner know that the, the call is canceled and you feel bad for us that you canceled on us? That's when we got to eat. <laughs> so that's when we ate, when the calls were canceled. Other than that, sometimes I'd go to bed and not eat literally or while the prospect i'll ask the prospect a question and then i put it on mute and then i'm eating my food that that's how it was for two years guys like she said it is a season of sacrifice and we knew there were some things that we had to accomplish we had to become good at inviting and we so we had to practice that we had to be become good at doing the edification that took me a long time i had to listen to a whole bunch of trainings on how to edify properly Right? That is the most important part of the three-way call is the edification. And I sucked at it for months. For probably the first year, I sucked at it. But I had to keep practicing and I kept listening, listening on the team meetings to how they would edify, you know, Mr. Bradley when he came on, how they would edify Mr. Moore, how they would edify. And I kept practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing. And then I got good. But I had to keep practicing, right? I knew that I had to... Um, learn the presentation. My first present, guys, I hit director without having even looked at the presentation, but I knew that I could not help my team get to their next level if I didn't know how to do the presentation, right? How am I going to tell all of you, you need to learn the presentation and I don't even know how to do it, right? Good, great leaders lead by example. We do it first. We model what it looks like. And those of you that said you're serious about setting your family's financial free, in essence, you're saying, I'm serious about becoming a director. I'm serious about leading a team of at least 100 people. Well, what do you, where, where are you leading them to if you can't do the presentation? Where are you leading them to if you can't properly invite somebody? Where are you leading them to if you don't know how to prospect? Where are you leading them to if you haven't practiced how to overcome objections? You're asking people to partner with you, saying that you can help them achieve whatever it is they want out of the business, but can you really? Are you lying to them? Now is the time that you guys are supposed to be perfecting those skills. And you get good at what you do over and over and over and over again. How did you learn the alphabet? By saying it over and over and over again. You have to put the same effort in your business that you've put out there in your jobs. 
it's plain and simple. Does that make sense to you guys? This is locker room. Straight up, no chaser. Yes, it makes perfect sense. But I do have a question for everybody who said that they were afraid to present or nervous or whatever. Uh, my question is, what is it that is making you scared or nervous, right? Um, you have to remember when people, when you invite people to your home or you're doing the presentation, you are dominating that room. So nobody knows whether or not you're going to mess it up or know what you're going to say because they have no idea what the presentation is about. So if you don't go in with posture, you got to posture up, right? When I present, and, and Tanisha will tell you, when I present, I go in with so much confidence, and I'm very shy. A lot of you don't know, I am very shy, but I go in with so much confidence. You know why? Because when I speak, everybody listens, right? Because they have, they're just hanging on to every word that's coming out of my mouth. Whether or not I know what I'm saying, but it's, it's domination. So when you, you can't go up there and just be like, oh, you know, whatever. You, you, gotta, you gotta go up there and be like, I got this. I'm, I'm in front of this room. I'm talking about this. Whatever it is, you could be talking about, you could be talking about the color purple. It doesn't matter. You dominate that room. So the first thing that you should do is when you're practicing, practice in front of the mirror. You are your wor you are your biggest critic, right? Mm -hmm. So figure out what, what it is that you're gonna do. But never, never, never be afraid to present in front of everybody because if you if you master that, then it'll be so much easier for you to talk to people. And it's never about a sales pitch. Always remember that, right? It's just a conversation. Just like you talk to anybody else, it's just a conversation and you slide in whatever it is that you want to slide in that you're talking about, right? Listen more than you speak. Listen to what it is that they're talking about and then you're going to be able to, to master it, dominate it, and take charge. You're in control. You got to be in control. If you're not, it's not going to work for you. So, you, so start there. So I, I want, so I want some of you guys who posted because I'm, I'm, I'm managing the chat at the present moment. But I want you to post. What is it that, that you fear when, when you think to do the presentation or to have that travel party? What, what is your fear? I want to see that. Back to you, great Tanisha. Question. Great, great. Thank you, thank you. What is it that you're afraid of? Because you know you're not going to die, right? I mean, that would be the worst case scenario is that you drop dead on the spot. That's not going to happen. I promise you, it's not going to happen. So what is it that you're actually afraid of? And, and let's, let's define fear. How many of you know what fear stands for? Fear stands for false, false evidence. evidence appearing real. Thank you. False evidence appearing real. So you're actually making up in your mind something that you think is going to happen. Good night. Let me kiss. You're actually making up in your mind something that you think is going to happen, but you have zero evidence that it's even going to happen. And so you do nothing because of that. That's crazy when you really think about it. You're making up in your mind that something might happen, even though you have no evidence that it's going to happen, so you do nothing. It's like you're in your house, and you just made it up in your mind that the sky is going to fall, so you refuse to leave your house. And you don't have no evidence. They didn't say it on CNN or anything like that. But you just had the thought in your mind, the sky is going to fall tomorrow, so I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and so you do nothing. That's silly. False evidence of pre appearing real. So never let fear will block you from your money. So what do you want more? Right? You got to feel the fear and do it anyway. I want all of y'all to write that down. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Because your money zone is on the other side of your fear. All right? Um, last but not least, it's nine o'clock. So my challenge to all of you, my challenge to all of you 
is before the end of the month to do a travel party. Before the end of the month. I want you to do a travel party. I want you to feel the fear and do it anyway. Okay? Who's willing to do that? Who's going to commit to it? I'm looking in the comments. Since I'm having one already on April 6th, um, do you want me to go ahead and do one before the month is out? Absolutely. Or, okay. Right. Absolutely. Because you'll do one before the month is out, and then guess what? The one on April 6th will be even better. Ah, makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Tanisha, can I, have, Tanisha, can I ask a quick question? Absolutely. This is Tara. Um, so I have a travel party set, and I know that we're talking about the private business, um, you know, the reception. Um, but the one that I have set is actually a travel travel party where I'm going to be doing. Party? Yes. And okay. so my question is, I'm not supposed to mix the two. Is that correct? That is correct. So what you want to do at your IntelliTravel travel party mm -hmm. is at the very, very end, when you're closing out, mm -hmm. while everyone is still there, you say, if, and you can have like a, um, a notebook, okay, right, with two columns, one for their name and one for their phone number. If anybody is interested in learning how they can become a home-based travel business owner, write your name and your phone number on this piece of paper, and I'll get in touch with you tomorrow. Okay. So this way you okay. can then follow up with them. So okay. once you have that list, you could go ahead and, um, you know, schedule the three-way call with them. Okay. Yep. Great question. Denise, I have a quick question. Hey, Joey, what's up? Um, okay, I'm just asking, like, in the presentation, there's a part where, where uh, after you explain Mr. Bradley, then it goes into James Ferrara. So could they kind of clear both of them, of them up? So, so you're asking because they're mixing the two together? Yes, on the presentation, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to follow protocol, but the presentation that I did do, I studied others that did the presentation before, and then I just kind of, I did mine, but I, cr I critiqued myself, and I'm pretty hard on myself, so I actually went back and studied some more and took notes pretty much like your husband did, but except I went pretty much with, with a slide for slide as well. Yeah, so the presentation, the, the Planet Marketing presentation explains both businesses. It's telling everyone about the entire business opportunity. It's a $200 investment, but you're getting two businesses. So the presentation is going to explain both businesses. So where, where you, I think you guys are getting confused is when we talk about in compliance, you can't mix both businesses. And what they mean by that is if you're speaking to someone about booking their travel, you are wearing your IntelliTravel hat. So if you're going to give them a business card, you're going to give them your travel agency business card. If you're speaking to someone about joining your business as a business partner, you're wearing your planet marketing hat. So if you're going to give them a business card, you're going to give them your planet marketing business card. If you go to an IntelliTravel travel agent industry event and you're dropping your business card, you're going to use your IntelliTravel business card. You're not going to talk to anyone at a travel agency event about joining your business because now that's a planet marketing responsibility, not a travel. A travel agents book travel, right? Planet marketing reps, we recruit business partners. If you are at a planet marketing event, you're not going to talk to someone about booking travel. You're talking to them about the business opportunity. If you do a post on your personal page on Facebook about a special to Aruba, you don't then end the post with, you can become a planet marketing rep and join my business and take this Aruba trip at a discount. No, if it's a post about Aruba, that's now an IntelliTravel post. So you can't mention planet marketing in there. 
if you do a post about come out and learn how you can position yourself on the money making side of an eight trillion dollar industry now that is a planet marketing post but you can't mix the two together now when you're posting in your travel group and write this down guys because this is the biggest marketing compliance boo-boo that everybody makes your travel group is your intel travel group always and forever you don't get to take one hat off and put another hat on you're always 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 welling wearing your intel travel hat when you are posting in your travel group so you cannot mention the word in uh, planet marketing in your travel group you cannot post the planet marketing logo in your travel group you could talk about hey if you would like to learn how you can become uh, a travel business owner private message me you can do that but you cannot say become a planet marketing rep and here's a planet marketing flyer for the next meeting if you want to post a planet marketing flyer you gotta use some editing stuff to take out the logo you cannot say the word planet marketing or have the planet marketing logo anywhere anytime in your travel group that is for your group so your travel group is always 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 your Intella travel group now your personal page you can post whatever you want on your personal page but you can't mix the two businesses in one post so if you do one post on your personal page about this special to Aruba that's fine and if the very next post you say come out to this planet marketing business opportunity that's fine it's your personal page you can talk about one or you can talk about the other in different posts but you can't do one post talking about both but your travel group is always and forever your intelli travel group and you can never ever ever post the name planet marketing or post the planet marketing logo in your travel group does that answer your question joey does that clarify it for you yes ma'am it does awesome 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 all right any other questions all right i see a lot of you have made some commitments to do a travel party before the end of the month so i want to thank you um again i will uh soon as this uploads i will upload it to our units section unit number two you'll be able to find this training video in unit number two um, and those of you who have business partners that were not on this training please encourage them to get on the monday night training and then you can also tag them in the video once it's uploaded so they can go back and watch the replay but this concludes our training for tonight thank you all was this helpful i like to ask that at the end of all of our training please let Very me know. Oh, thank you joey let me know if you guys found value in this training we try to keep it fresh and new awesome. Great. thank you so much it's thank you thank you louise awesome awesome all right guys i have a one-on-one -on -one coaching that i am nine minutes late for so thank you all this concludes the presentation and